Good evening, Southeast Texas. Hope you and your family are doing well. You already know about the weekend being beautiful. Monday is a big question mark. Is it going to rain or isn't? Well, I think it is. We may not get the 60% coverage, but uh, I think we'll see at least a scattering of showers in our forecast. Uh, lower chances coming up Tuesday, back up on Wednesday as a significant cold front. In fact, an Arctic cold front moves on in. Get on the right side. Looking at chilly temperatures coming up on Saturday, or at least below normal. Sunday, somebody flipped the switch because we're looking at temperatures rising into the lower 70s for highs Tuesday and Wednesday with a warming trend. Look at those lows, almost 15 degrees above normal. Then reality strikes, and it is going to uh, be in the form of an Arctic cold front. Could be 15 to 25 degrees colder, and we may see freezing temperatures late uh, next weekend to the following weekend. First full weekend of uh, February. Otherwise, uh, pretty high likelihood we will see below normal temperatures coming out to finish out uh, the first week uh, of uh, February and on into the weekend. Otherwise, right now, crystal clear skies, light winds, temperatures radiating on down. It's going to be a chilly night. Already is that way at uh, Education First Federal Credit Union looking at clear skies on the roofing 911 Skycam net Network. Not anything to show you tonight. It's clear, it's quiet, nothing on radar. It's all about temperatures. Currently, we're at 44 in uh, Port Arthur. MJ Pontegra reporting 48 and currently 41 into Orange. To the north in Jasper, already down to 34 and across the state. Temperatures are into the 30s in northwest Texas, 40s in through east, coastal and central Texas, 51 the warm spot back over in towards Brownsville. So again, all the east Texas lakes area showing up nicely on infrared satellite, meaning clear skies and just a, some high cloudiness off towards our south into south Texas. Watching some flurries. I don't know if you've been on Twitter tonight, but uh, seeing some flurries up towards Huntsville. May even see a few uh, snowflakes up towards Atlanta as that big storm winds up into uh, New England and Nor'easter. But it's not going to affect Texas. This is what's going to affect Texas in the eastern Pacific. Upper level low pressure right there in the eastern Pacific. So this upper level low is going to head on in to our state as we head on in to, uh, say, late Sunday into Monday. This is one model showing the potential. I'm going to show you two now and why it's such a big headache. First model takes this and dives it to the south into south Texas. That means lower rain chances for us, while the other model has it further north, which would mean higher rain chances. So you can see it's a difference on where that low is is going to dictate how much rain we have. If it's further north and up the coast, and we're going to see a pretty good coverage, we'll get that 50 to 60 percent coverage. If it's further south, we may only see a 30 to 40 percent coverage. So it's a big headache on Monday. Tonight, clear skies, temperatures falling right on into the 30s. We'll be around freezing in the morning when you wake up in the lakes, mid 30s in the triangle. Then for tomorrow, highs in the upper 50s to around 60 expected. On the Gulf, looking at mostly smooth seas around a foot with winds becoming southwest. Our forecast tonight clear with lows near freezing in the lakes, mid 30s in the triangle. Tomorrow, lots of sun, upper 50s to lower 60s. And Sunday, looking at 67. Monday, 60% coverage may not be that much. Otherwise, scattered showers, warm temperatures on Tuesday. Wednesday, our rain chances go back up to a 40% coverage. Look at the high at 73. Lots of clouds, very warm and humid. Then the question is the Arctic cold front. Yeah, it arrives late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. We'll see falling temperatures and wind chills as we head on into Thursday night.